Hello, WordPress bloggers. Welcome to another episode from How to Webmaster. Today, I will be reviewing green pop-ups. This is a WordPress plugin to make professional-looking pop-up designs for opt-in forms, web forms, and it works as a pop-up and also as an inline web form. And you get a bunch of really nice marketing features like A-B campaign testing for different pop-up designs. And here are just some of the other features. And I'll show you some demo of the templates right here. There's a really nice set of templates. And I'll leave a link to uh, for you guys to check out these demos to see for yourself. Let's click on that to see an example. So this is what your visitors will see. Let's do another one for example. And you can customize any of these images as well. And you can even do a discount and a two-step process where they need to answer the questions. And here's some inline demo. If you wanna just add the form directly to your posts or pages, some really nice designs. And you can integrate with all these email marketing tools and CRM systems. And the big ones here, Aweber, Constant Contact, and here let's take a look at the sales page so this is green pop-ups and again i'll leave the link down below and you can click here to do the live preview demos almost a perfect five star rating all right once you make your purchase log into your Envato marketplace or code canyon account go to the downloads page right here and then scroll to find your purchase so i bought a bunch of products from here so once you find your product so green pop-ups right here click on download all files and documentation after it is done downloading it'll look like this right here it's a zip file and you just need to upload that so head over to your wordpress admin dashboard under plugins menu here click on add new and here on the page of plugins click on add new one more time and then right here upload plugin and let's choose the file okay just scroll and browse for the downloaded plugin file right there click on open and install now all right the plugin is installed successfully let's click on activate plugin once the plugin is activated you can access the green pop-ups plugin through the new menu item right here and the first thing you want to do is head over to the settings because you will need to add your item purchase code and you can find that from the downloads or the download button right here. Click on license and certificate and purchase code and it'll show you your purchase code. Copy that and add it here and then save settings. And also on the same page for the settings, you can change the sender name and sender email if you want to. And here is the link to the online documentation. Let's check that out right here. And it has a very comprehensive tutorials and steps for each one of the features. So it's very detailed if you want to check it out. Let's go back here. And for the most part, a lot of these things are default as disabled, but these are optional. You don't need to do any of those. Let's head over to the advanced and the basic settings. You don't need to mess with those. But here, the marketing systems and newsletters and CRM, here you can actually integrate with whatever email marketing tool or services you're using. For instance, I'm using Constant Contact, so I can enable that right here. And that way I can set up my opt-in form to automatically be added to my Constant Contact subscribers list. And you can activate multiple ones if you want to add to multiple email marketing services. And there's MailChimp, Aweber, Active Campaign, if you use any of those. So pretty much all the popular systems are here, including even SMS services and even advanced features like customizing options with depending on your visitors' IP addresses. And last but not least, right here, email validation services. If you use double opt-in, you probably don't need to worry about this. But single opt-in, you may want to get uh, your email verified. But anyways, let's go down here and save. Let's head over to create a new pop-up. Okay, now just enter in a pop-up name and then click on create new pop-up. And this is where you can create a new pop-up from scratch. And you can enter in these or drag and drop these elements right here. Okay, got it. So this is a quick tutorial. Okay. Now I can create a sign up form or an opt in form from scratch. 
for example I can drag and drop these elements let's do a video and here I can move the video around and this perimeter is the opt-in size and I can customize it as well if I want and to edit this video I click on the video right here these are layers and you can add as many layers as you want and here's the embed code if you want to change the YouTube video let's exit that and we can enter in let's say a text and I can move this right here and let's customize this label and I can customize it right here sign up for a free ebook I can change the style I can make it bigger and now I need to drag this out to make it a little bit bigger and let's exit that and if I want to do an email field I would need to select this right here email field please enter the email address and I can add it right there now let's let's check out the confirmation that's the current confirmation and you can customize this if you want let's go right here to the settings for this pop-up and you can see there's some more options here like double opt-in if you want to enable that but the most important thing is integrations if you want to add your new subscribers to your third-party services like constant contact aweber get response let's click here in this example i'm using constant contact and for each email services there may be a different way to integrate some may ask for a login or api for instance here is constant contact i need my api key and then you may need access token and a list id and again you can click on these links for uh, tips and tutorials because each one of these services are different so anyways let's close that so what i just showed you is how to create pop-up from scratch using a very easy drag and drop let me save this real quick and now let's go to the pop-ups library here's where you can actually import or use any one of their templates as a pop-up or as an inline web form and here is the actual treasure trove of all of the pop-up templates you will ever need for just about any occasion they have one for seasonal food restaurants businesses ebooks uh, giveaways coupons shopping they have everything so you will never run out so let me pick one real quick okay so i'll just pick this one just click on it and it will download to your pop-up library and let me choose a few couple more let's do this one and pop-up is successfully imported so you can find these from your pop-ups right here in your pop-ups sub menu item right here and here you can see a list of all my pop-ups and it comes default with a bunch of previous pop-ups but this is the one I just made right here my demo pop-up and then I imported two more additional pop-ups and you can click here to preview on a live site so let's see how that looks so this is the one I just imported right here so let me exit that and here is my new pop-up that I also just downloaded okay let me exit that and let's say if I want to edit this right here just click on this and edit and here it shows you all the layers and you can customize say if you, you want to customize this right here click on that and it's in the header so click on that and then you can customize the text 50 percent discount if they sign up right there enter in their email and you can add in more fields if you want like names addresses phone numbers websites whatever you want all right so let's click on save real quick let's head back to the pop-ups and here you can activate this so this is my new pop-up i just customized and now we can click here to activate and it is now activated and if you want the code you click on here on how to use this pop-up or use it as an inline okay first i'm going to show you how to use this as a pop-up and the easiest way to do this i think is to copy this javascript right here for the on scroll on scroll right here that means a visitor will show up to your site and then once they start scrolling and then the pop-up will appear and you can do it on exit as well when the visitor look like they're about to exit it can pop up and on load is it'll load right away on a visit so i'll just do a on scroll let's copy that let's minimize this or exit that real quick and head over to the appearance let's go to widgets 
and basically every WordPress theme should have a widget area either right sidebar left sidebar footer it doesn't really matter any uh, widget area will work let's find a widget called custom HTML and let's drag it to your sidebar or footer or whatever and you can place it anywhere you want it doesn't matter don't give it a title just keep it there and right click paste in your JavaScript code and then save let's visit my website right here and let's click on a post so here's my sidebar and the code was added here now let's scroll and there it is my pop-up and you can set up to show your pop-up to new visitors repeat visitors or any visitor at any time every time they visit there's a setting for that as well now let's go back to the code for this pop-up and let's scroll down to where it says inline short code now you can add this anywhere you want in your wordpress post or pages let me copy that and let's go to exit that and post let's add a new post and let me enter in some demo content and here i can paste in my short code and it'll automatically pop up this box right here with the short code and if you're using the classic editor it's the same thing just add it in or paste it in just like that okay and if you click on this ad block you can actually type in green and there's a green pop-ups uh, feature right here and you can actually select your uh, pop-up from here as well instead of using the short code that's up to you so let's do this pop-up I'll have two different pop-ups here now let me do a preview and here it is my test demo post I got my first uh, inline web form or opt-in form and here's also another cool looking app download form so there's a lot of options a lot of way to display pretty impressed with this plugin very easy to use a whole lot of templates you can try out so you can't go wrong with this plugin and it is fairly priced with a good high rating i recommend it check it out my links down below thanks so much for viewing let me know if you guys have any questions and be sure to subscribe to how to webmaster for more tips tricks reviews and tutorials on wordpress thanks again and until next time happy blogging